All right, guys, I just pulled this beautiful looking, uh, I guess, it's a dog tag from the Quonset Animal Hospital, East Greenwich, nice and 70 71. Beautiful. I think it's stainless steel, but I got a signal here for a, uh, it was a, uh, you know, a mem back. And then I swung again, and this came up. I'm not sure if this is a signal, it could be another penny in there, because this is, uh, let me check and see what it sounds like. Oh my gosh, it's, yeah, there's no signal for this at all. Holy cow. So this is a totally a lucky find because it ha rings up like like uh, iron. So wow, what a lucky find. And there's probably a penny in here somewhere, so uh, let's keep beeping. All right. All right, nothing special here, but this is uh, wheat penny number seven. Seven wheats out of this one hole. I keep hoping there'd be like a silver in there, but so far all wheats, but crazy. And they all, this is a 50s one, I think there was a 30s, a bunch of 50s though, maybe some 40s, but still, that's the most I've dug in one hole, so uh, nice. Keep at it. Alright guys, you got the first silver of the day. I'm gonna guess it's probably a mark. Ooh, oh no, it's not a mark, that could be a barber. Oh, one dime, oh. And it's got some wear for sure. Ooh, it's been a while since I got a barber, so get that off. Yes, yeah, pops, it's gonna come off. Come on, here we go. It's a barber, all right. Ah, come here. Oh yeah. I can't quite get a date off of it. I don't want to. Huh? There's a date right there. I got a. Nope, that's not the date. All right, I'm gonna come back and maybe carefully clean this off with some water. Sweet Barber Dime. Awesome. That's silver number 98 of the year. All right, guys, got it all cleaned off. Beautiful 1905. And it's actually a special first for me because I turned it over and it's an S. It's my first Barber Dime with a mint mark. So that's awesome. All right. That's that's a nice way to end out the year. I mean, I got a few more days of hunting, but the year's almost over, so nice. Hey right, guys, right next to that silver, I got another signal that was a little shallower. I got some weird stuff going on here. There are two coins or tokens. I think they're probably tokens stuck together. And like, can I get them apart? No, they're stuck pretty good. So I have to pry them apart when I get home. See the thing they're writing on them, but interesting. They got, see the set got um, sided edges. So, very unusual. Alright, I hit this field pretty hard and I'm still turning up lots of stuff, so that's a good signal. Good sign, I mean. On we go. Alright, guys, had an iffy but deep signal. And look at there. We got silver number 99 for the year in this beautiful Washington quarter. I'll wipe it because it's just a Washington, but 42? Any mint mark? Nope. Oh man, number 99. Where? I bet at this rate, I should be able to get a uh, number 100. Awesome. Alright, on we go. Alright, guys. I did it. See that nice impression down there? That is silver coin number 100 for 2021. The most beautiful Mercury dime. It's probably going to be a 40s. No, it's a 39. Nice. Alright. I did not think I'd get close to 200 this year, honestly. Um, my goal for the year was one per week, so 52, and I uh, almost doubled that. So, alright, mission accomplished. Okay. Well, I won't stop now. Got lots of daylight left and a lot of fields, so uh, we'll keep at it. Yeehaw. Alright, first Indian out of the main field. I had pulled one out of the hillside nearby. This is the first one in down in the low field, and uh, a little crusty, but she'll clean up just fine. Okay, I, did, I missed a, uh, I didn't show you guys at my 101st silver, a war nickel. So, uh, yeah, we're still going strong. All right. All right, we got ourselves a beautiful buffalo, but unfortunately, the back is great. That means the front is not so great. 
So we probably won't get a date off there, but at least the back. Looks immaculate, you can read everything. So that's that's nice. Alright. First buffalo today. On we go. Alright guys, that's the black silver number two. Nice mark. Has a little wear to it, so it should be an older one. Well, actually, that's the dates right there. Ooh, 1920. I find, you know, most detectorists are all from 1940s marks, 9 out of 10 times, and then the other ones are, they're not as a whole lot rare, but they're still, you just don't find them as often, so. Nice early one. Sweet. All right, we got some unexpected silver. Looks like a Catholic charm. Yeah, it's probably Jesus on that side, and Mary on that side. Very nice. Yep, I see uh, right there. You can see Sterling stands on it. Beautiful. All right, I don't want to rub it up too much in the field, but nice silver. All right. All right, guys, let's close up that hole with the uh, Catholic charm. I think it's a two-piece. That's definitely a two-piece silver charm because I got the little cross here. Oh, very nice. Awesome. Two silver. Two pieces of silver in one hole. That's a good day. Alright, hopefully there's some more. Alright, I got a pretty iffy signal. And as you see, it's a dime trifecta day. Cause that's a one dime. I'm guessing it's going to be a barber. I have to see that, would be awesome. So, there she is. Barber. Oh, 1900. Nice, I like that date. She's worn, but hey, we'll never complain about finding a barber dime. Awesome, so that's, I got, first silver was a Rosie, then a Merc, and a Barber, so, at uh, this rate, maybe I'll get to see you by the end of the day. Sweet. All right, guys, I'm out on a nice rainy day. There's a little break in the, uh, in the rain, and I drove by this pond, which you can see is really far out. And I've been finding you know a bunch of change and uh two wheats and then I just saw this. Looks like a silver chain and it might have something on it so uh oh yes I think it does. Yep. It's got looks like Jesus or something. It's copper but it's chain silver. And it says, I uh, can't quite read it, but still, look at that, what a beautiful find, awesome. That's what I'm looking for.